I'm Melanie Lanwitz from GOAR Games, and we are all about yeah, digital outdoor gaming. So what does that mean? Remember a time when you were maybe little and you were children? Did you have an imaginary friend? Or did you maybe play in an enchanted forest? Or were you flying rocket ships and spaceships? Did you play with aliens? Well, maybe you have children, maybe you don't, maybe you have nieces and nephews, maybe your siblings have got, you know, little children. Whoever in your life has got little children, imagine what it would be like if they all of a sudden could live in an enchanted forest. What would it be like for them if they could all of a sudden live in a magical world and really interact with it? Wouldn't that be cool? So, back in our day, when I grew up, we used to be happy with two sticks and mud. This, as you can see, is no longer the case. The kids these days are just not happy with two sticks and mud. They grew up in a digital world, and they are the first generation to have grown up in a completely digital world. So, at the moment, every child spends on average 8.5 hours sitting across the globe, and these numbers are rising. They're going up. So how do we get kids off the couch? Basically, what parents say to us about our product is that we are delivering a children books. We sell fun to the kids, but what we really do is we get them to exercise. So basically what we do is we do GeoAR, Geospatial Augmented Reality, plus digital devices, plus motion games. And what you see here is a, um, a concept art of one of our first motion games that we're going to release with the Kickstarter. It's called Sharks in the Park. So I'm going to use this to, ex to explain the basics of motion gaming and geospatial augmented reality. So how does it work? First of all, you need a big open space, and we're going to place 3D content via a GPS position in a big park. It has to be outdoor, yeah? Then what we're going to do is we're using, we're adding behavior to the 3D content, and it is triggered by, for instance, distance. So if the child goes closer, to where, for instance, the poor girl's school of fishes, then they start to follow the child. But it, as, it may also be triggered by the speed, how fast the child is running, or for instance, the time that goes by. So then obviously, you know, we give the child reasons to run away, so it's not too easy. We want to make it challenging, and we want to create different levels. So there could be, for instance, that we have baby jellyfish or a shark. But then we also want to reward physical activity. So there could be, for instance, pirate treasure. So there are multiple levels, there are multiple challenges. We do want to make sure that kids are having fun for a longer amount of time. So who's our customer? Our customer are parents who want to have healthy kids, and the users are the kids that want to have fun. Now, at the moment, kids on average have their first smartphone at the age of six. And 68% of US children get their first smartphone between the age three and 17. So this is small. We basically want to develop a mobile subscription service with in-app purchases. That to us makes the most sense. Our roadmap, Kickstarter 420,000 US dollars starting in March. Then the first motion game release based on that, which is Sharks in the Park. The ability to design 3D models and basically to design 3D worlds, your own magical world to create it the way you would like to. And then upload personal 3D content and behavior, make it more personal, and eventually get the kids to program and share their own motion games. So who are we? This is Amy Walker, my um, my co-founder and our developer, and myself, Melanie Lanwas. I've got a background in sales and marketing. Now we used to work together for two and a half years. This is how we met in a geospatial open reality startup. We know a lot about the topic, we're quite savvy about it. We had already a prototype, we're rebuilding it now, and so we're at this stage just an alpha version. Thank you very much. I hope you really enjoy what you are getting does. Please follow us.
first part, because the energy is good, I, mean, I like to think that in terms of growth. But uh, in terms of the problem, like kids sitting down the eight and a half, or how to get kids to the couch, stuff like that, try to cut it out so you have more time for the other. And the roadmap is a little, I don't know if it's too long or just sure. very efficient. So maybe show the three first milestones and then the others, say, okay. once you achieve those ones. It's like having the Kickstarter, launching those Kickstarter uh, sales on May, two months after, and then your own picture, like your own video games, that is like a lot. So maybe just focus on the first two months. Okay. okay. I will finish for the rest of it. Regarding this time, I have. I didn't see the logo at the end. I would like to. Okay, not the logo at the end. You said follow us, so maybe. Yeah, okay. Good point. Facebook app or something. Yeah. Uh, I was, I, I, I love you. I don't know. You could sell me anything, other than okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I would say yeah. Um, but. How uh, can <laughs> you hear? Yeah. I, I do. <laughs> Um, I think you, you are very confident and I, I believe what you're saying and I, I don't know, I, I, I want to buy that, I don't know, yeah. <laughs> but um, I don't have kids but I'll find some. But um, with, besides of that, I think I, I'm, I agree with uh, Bati, I think when you, when you present the, the, the problem, I think it's too long okay. and, and you start with uh, with how we how it was done before, and then you go back with well, this is, could be, and then you give a glimpse of the solution, but then you go back to the problem when the kids they're inside, and so like maybe make it shorter, like with the different things that are the problem that you're solving, and then just your solution and just go crazy with the solution. I thought it was like the problem, and then a little bit of the solution, and then the problem again. And that got me a little bit confused. Um, also, I wouldn't. I, I think this is in very my my opinion, maybe. But um, I think the design is a little dated, maybe. Um, and since you are selling design, I would t I would be very careful with that because you are selling this three D out of my mind kind of thing. And then, for example, some like the the very subtle things like transitions, uh, like fading transitions that it's like little dated or like the 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 um fonts, the, 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 the fonts a little you know like try and I, I would I would uh, take a look at that because you're selling something visual so your visuals in your presentations have to be on on that level you know so that you transmit that as well. Yeah okay yeah but Oh, and the, the picture of the team, I thought it was awesome. I love it. Oh, it was awesome. super. Yeah, like, congratulations. It's pretty good. Any more? Yeah. I just want to add uh, the, the one point where, you, where the surroundings transform into the forest, I think you should keep that. And I, <laughs> good point. <laughs> I, I just want to say that. No, that's good. That's good. Thank I you. really like it. Oh, awesome. Could you try through the next time, uh, closing with the uh, Kickstarter call to action? Yeah, yeah, I think that works. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Awesome.